temperatures over there right now. Go to the left, this is the left. Ah. We got about 1400 coming out of stage one. 140 millimeter uh, diameter product. Go to the left. At 6.26 millimeters per second. I'll try and get a close up of the bar. You can see that we're not getting any scale formed either, which is uh, working out very well. The other day when we were uh, we heated the bar, we got it up to about 1,200 and uh, and uh, 1,200 C, which is forging temperature, and it scaled up the bar and was really giving us a lot of problems. So we started with the new bar today, and with the new bar today, we're talking one to two degrees C on every machine uh, very well. There's the bar, coil four. Low. It moves slow. We've been in production, uh, got to be about six hours, and uh, well, you know, Nell says it's going like a Swiss watch, and I hate that, you know, the knock on wood expression, you know, just don't want to see any problems, and uh, we've been letting them run it since this morning unmanned. And I'll take you here and show you the temperatures on how everything is doing. So uh, we'll start down here on Austinatize. They're going to put a uh, cover around here because the steam is getting up and getting into the computer system. But here's the loading mechanism. Loads onto the wheels. System one, we're looking to control at around 660. Six sixty for number one. Number two, we're looking, I think, for seven. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. A lot of scale. 775 is number two. There's a lot of scale on the pipe. See? So we're, we're within range. It's just a little bit more difficult with so much scale. See this? You know, that's, that's pretty rough to have something control with that going on. And we're, we're still doing great. Exactly what they want.
This guy we're looking for about 960. But that's all scale. 960. See, it goes over, under, over, under. And here we're coming out and going into twins. But like I say, you know, makes control tough to deal with when the pipe is like that. But but everybody's very happy. We've already tested this bar, and it's it's uh, good hardness, good tensile strength. You know, they did all their impact tests and everything. That's an air blow off. So that's austenitized process. This is a cool down. And Nell says this is exactly what you want to see. Anybody who's anybody wants to see the ends of these bars cracking. That means it's, and they're all doing the same, repeating and everything. So it's, it's running, been running nice all morning. This is the temper. This guy should be, I think, 620. A lot more accurate with not as much scale on it. This guy, number two, he should be 620. Right on the money. Number three should be 625. Maybe number three is number three is 630. Then I think it goes 635, 640. Yeah. 635. Then, then 640, 645, 650. Pretty good. Here's number six, 645. And number seven, 650. This is all our instruments, all the way down the line. So that's it.